Hey guys, it's Jayla and welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to share with you guys the empties that I had for all of 2020 specifically for makeup. I don't collect beauty empties because my house really isn't that big and I just, I can't hang on to all that beauty trash. Just can't do it. But I do have the space to hang on to my makeup empties. So I've been hanging on to them for like every year for the past three years. And I want to share with you guys what I went through in 2020. It's more than I thought that it would be actually now that I'm looking at it, but I think it's less than it has been in years past. I would have to look at the numbers. So let's go ahead and get started because it's a lot and it's probably going to take me a while to get through this stuff. So I'm going to start with base products and creams, liquidy things. So I'm going to start with like setting sprays because they're kind of big and right in front of me. The first one here is this Smash Mop smash box <laughs> smash box primer water this is okay i think i have one or two more of these in my collection i thought it was okay it's not something that i will go out and repurchase and then i went through a lot of fix plus so this is two of the mac fix plus and this was the cherry blossom scent and i will probably keep these bottles so i'm not going to throw that into the bin because those are super pretty and then i went through two minis one in the lavender and one in the coconut scent and then i went through this teeny tiny mini uh, hangover rx three-in-one replenishing spray i think i got two uses out of this whatever so now let's do primers i finished this becca first light priming filter okay there we go I can't tell if it's focusing because this bottle is so light. I love this and I think I will always have one of these in my collection because I love it. This thing. Oh my gosh. Oh, it was like a feat to get this finished and out of my collection. It was okay. It did what it needed to do, but I will never repurchase this. And then I finished two of these YSL Touche Clot Blur primers. These are the little minis. Finish these guys. It's okay. Not something I'm going to repurchase. I got through one of the little Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer little minis. I got through one little primer oil. This is the Smashbox Primer Oil. I've had this sample forever. And I do like this, but I feel like I can use any face oil for this for the purposes that I used this. So I wouldn't repurchase it. Okay, so that was all the primers I, fin I finished. Now let's go into eye primer so i finished two little mini eye primers this one has like no writing lift on it but it was the Lorac eye primer and it was like one of the minis that came with their palettes and then i finished this little teeny tiny urban decay eyeshadow primer potion this is in the original formula so this is the teeny tiny guy and then now let's move into uh had an itch. Now let's go into foundations. So I have what five here. The first one is this teeny tiny little mini of the It Cosmetics, you know, whatever this is, CC, Your Skin But Better. And this was in the shade medium. So it was too dark for me. I think I combined this with some other things to make it work. I finished this Marc Jacobs. What was this? Genius Gel in the shade Bisque Light. So it was number 22. I really like this. I mean, I do. I have a couple of more that I got when they he discontinued this foundation. So I purchased a couple when they went on like super discount on clearance from Sephora and I have a couple more of these so I liked it and I finished a L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow in the shade 207 and I do like this foundation quite a lot I finished this which I is not a huge fan of and I think I have one more this is the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Breathable Long Wear Foundation I think I was mistaking this for another foundation and so I bought two and then I'm like oh this is the foundation that I thought I was purchasing it was okay i mean it wasn't my favorite i don't think you can even buy this anymore so and then this is actually a mixer this is the la girl pro coverage hd long wear illuminating foundation in the shade white so i use this to mix in for those really dark foundation darker foundations that i needed to lighten up and i'm surprised i got through that all right so concealers i got through one little corrector i don't use 
like green correctors very often. I think that's what this was. Yeah, this was like a little green corrector. I mean, it's this teeny tiny little uh, Urban Decay green corrector. And then I got through three regular size concealers. This is the one from Milk Makeup. This is their Flux Concealer. And I like this. The tube is kind of weird because the stopper always comes out, but I liked the consistency of that. I also finished this Hello Fab Bendy Avocado Concealer and I liked it. I don't necessarily know that I will repurchase it because I think the shade, they don't have a shade that matches my skin tone. And then I finished the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Medium. I do like this concealer on certain occasions. I mean, I, I like it. I should say that I like it. I don't it's not my holy grail. And I think I may have one or two of these left. It's a good concealer and sometimes I need coverage because my dark circles are bad. So, I mean, I would repurchase it. I don't need to repurchase it now. And then I have some like cream illuminators that I went through. So the first one is this Ulta Beauty Liquid Illuminator Duochrome in Sunray Burst. So this was just this little mini guy that I got rid of. Wouldn't repurchase that. I finished a Becky. Becky. <laughs> Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. And this is a mini of this as well. I like these. Uh, I have plenty. I don't need to purchase anymore. This, again, was another one of those like, I need to get this out of my collection and I'm so glad I did. This is the Benefit High Beam. I didn't think there was anything great about this. I would not repurchase. I do have one more because I got a gift box from a friend of mine for my birthday one year and it had one of these in it. So I still have one of these left and I'll use it up. And then I got through this teeny tiny dandelion shy beam. There is nothing fantastic about this in my opinion. Opinion, and I would not repurchase that. This is the second year I've gotten through one of these. This is the Benefit What's Up highlighter stick and it's it's it looks pretty bad beaten up because you know I used it and um, I think I have one more of these left and I would not repurchase this. Okay so those were all like the cream liquid face items. Let's do powder products. I didn't finish, I mean, I finished, I should say I finished eyeshadows, but I'm not going to pull my Modern Renaissance palette because I didn't finish it. So in my opinion, that's not a finished product because the whole palette is not finished. So I think I finished like five eyeshadows out of that, but all right, I have three loose powders. The first is this Patrick Star and Mac Patrick powder, Patrick's powder. I really like this. The packaging is beautiful, obviously. I would totally purchase this if it was available to purchase. Um, I know there was controversy around this particular powder and how it was like they doubled the price on it or something. Whatever. I liked it. I got through one of these Cover FX Perfect Setting Powders in the in Translucent Light. Well, can't really see that. Anyway, one of these guys. I really liked this for a little while. I don't really like it as much as I used to. I feel like it's a little too dry from drying for my skin. And then I did get through this Kat Von D Locket setting powder. So it's in like one of these jars and it's a mini sized. I like that. I did get through two bronzers. So I finished one of these little mini hula bronzers and I finished the pan. I was so excited to finish this one up. And then I also finished an old school Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer in the shade Chocolate Soleil, Milk Chocolate Soleil. Yeah, and there's my empty pan. This was exciting to finish. So happy to get that done. So now I'm gonna move into eye products. Okay, I think I just have three brow products. The first one is a small sample of the Gimme Brow. And this was in shade 4.5, and that's my go-to shade. Then I finished an Anastasia Brow Wiz. This was in dark brown. I love that pencil. And I also like this one. It's the Ulta Beauty Slim, Ultra Slim Brow Pencil, and this was in dark brown. I like these as well. They usually, you can, you, when you get these on sale, or like you can buy one, get one. It's a good deal. Now, I did get through one like liquid eyeshadow. <laughs> I got through this little tiny mini of the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow in Karma Kitten. I mean, it's this teeny tiny sample. I finished that up. Okay, I think these are all the pencils I pulled out. So I finished one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eye pencils. They're almost all but 
all but one are in the shade black because I pretty much use exclusively black eye pencil. So several of these were, no, there's just two of them, were the Sephora contour eye pencil. I really like these. These are just, I mean, they're stubs now. But this is one of the few eyeliners that does, and these were both sample size. They're both deluxe sized. These are one of the few eye pencils that does not get on my contacts. When I do like a, the inner rim, I love these. Surprised. I was very surprised at how much I like those. And this was, this was another Sephora pencil. It was in like a glittery, one of the glittery shades that they had, like a glitter black shade. Eh, I wouldn't repurchase that. This one is the the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in the shade Zero. I could not say that properly. Okay, I had to go look at my spreadsheet to figure out what these last two pencils were. So one of them was the Lottie London AM to PM liner, and I'm thinking it was this one. Whoops, it was this one. I always heard really great like reviews about this. I thought it was too smudgy, and I think it, it got all over my contacts, so I would not repurchase that. And this other one was also one of those Sephora pencils. So I really liked it. <laughs> I used three of those last year. And this last one is the Physicians Formula Custom Eye Enhancing Eyeliner. And this is this came in like a trio pack. It was the Smoky Eyes Trio Pack. And this was in, well, this was in gray and it's empty, but a little bit of it just popped out. And I think because it came off of its base, well, now it won't come out. But yeah, it's rolled up all the way and it's empty. And this was like the first time I think I've ever finished finished a gray eyeliner. Okay, so liquid liners, I finished three. I have one from as M Cosmetics. It's the Illustrative Eyeliner. Good Lord. And I really liked this eyeliner a lot. I would repurchase, but I can get the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner easier, so I'd probably we purchased that first. I also used this Ico I Do Liquid Liner. I really did not like this. The tip is too thick and I mean it was black enough and yeah it was just the tip is too thick. Finish this Deja Vu Lasting Fine liner. I think I got this when I was in Japan. And I do like, I did like this. It didn't last very long if I remember correctly, which is fine because they don't, they're not very expensive. And I want to say I maybe have a second one of these. So anyway, finish that. And then I went through a lot of mascara. I go through a lot of mascara in a year. Let me see if I can organize these. So I went through two of the Monsieur Big, Lanco Monsieur Big, one in a mini and one in a large size. This I thought that I liked and it's just too much of a wet mascara for me. I'm not a fan. I think I finished one or like the very beginning of this year. I would not repurchase this. I went through uh, like an old school, this is a waterproof version of the Maybelline Lash, Lash Sensational. I did not like this. I used up this matte, I think some something definition lash mascara. Mm. Would not repurchase. I used up this Grande Bat Your Lashes mascara. It has a primer on one end and the mascara on the other. Would not repurchase. Didn't wow me. Two of these little mini Dior Show mascaras. They're okay. Dior Show used to be one of my favorites, but I have since moved on. So I have a Lancome Definicils. I think the black one, this one's okay. Again, not something that I'm gonna go out and buy. I have a MAC False Lashes. Again, it's okay, would not repurchase. Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir. I think I remember liking this, but I have other mascaras that are Holy Grail. I would not repurchase. Uh, I went through this mini of the Tarte Ego, Big Ego mascara. And I think this was part of my 50 Shades of Pink project. Meh. It was okay. Would not purchase. I used up, this one took me a long time. This was the Urban K Subversion primer. And I do like this primer. I actually purchased a full size version of this towards the end of the year because I, I think I have one other mini that I'm going to go through this year and this, that's it. So 
I like that a lot. I also went through a mini of the Perversion Mascara and I love this mascara. It's one of my favorites. I will always have one of these in my collection. Tarte Tartiste. I love this mascara. It's another one of those that I will always have in my collection. And the last one is the Sephora Lash Craft Big Volume. This was okay. Not something I'm going to repurchase. All right, mascaras. So I forgot to say, I will be taking all of the mascara wands and washing them and donating them to Wands for Wildlife. I actually still have my mascara wands from year like 2019 that I never sent in. So they're going to have a lot of mascara wands for me. But I need to do that because I know February is the month where they actually accept mascara wands. So I need to get on the ball. I even printed the form and everything and I never did anything with it. So that's the plan is to go ahead and wash these and send them all of my mascara wands from last year and the year before. So I think that was 13 mascaras and one primer. I think that's right. Okay, so now let's do fragrance since they're right here. I had decanted the, er, not Urban Decay, Elizabeth and James Urban, uh, like a three mil or a five mil or something in here and I used that up. I'm not gonna toss that because I can reuse it. I don't know why I put that in there. And I did finish this Calvin Klein one ounce bottle of Escape. I love this and I, they don't make this anymore but for some reason my sister and I, when we put this on, everybody is like, what are you wearing? <laughs> I don't know what it is about this perfume, but it like does something with our skin chemistry and we always get asked about it. Okay, I finished two of these little minis of the Nest Perfume in Black Tulip. I really liked this. I would purchase a full size, but I think I still have a couple of minis, so I'm gonna hold off on that. I finished this deluxe size of just the Jimmy Choo um, perfume. I liked this a lot. Yeah, I liked that a lot. I was a little surprised by how much I liked it. I finished a deluxe size of the Dolce and Cabana, Cabana, Gabbana Light Blue. And I don't remember liking this. I mean, not something I'm gonna buy. Make sure I don't have lipstick in my teeth. The next one I finished was this Clean Reserve fragrance in this, uh, the scent. The scent is, the scent is rain, oh my. And I don't remember like being the biggest fan of this either. I mean, it's okay, but it's not my go-to scent. I finished a deluxe size of the Elizabeth James Nirvana in French Grey. And I don't remember the size of this, maybe a three ML or something like that. And then I have a bunch of like samples. <laughs> I have one more like deluxe size. This is the Toka perfume in Cleopatra. And this is a floral, if I remember correctly. Yeah, something I, I would not repurchase that. It was nice, but I wouldn't repurchase. So I had a couple, no, just one. I Sometimes I get these like samples from Sephora and I forget, like I write, I put on here in permanent marker what it is, but then it rubs off. I don't remember what it was. Jo Malone in Poppy and Barley. I always like Jo Malone perfumes. They're so good. By Rosie Jane Lee La Lou. I don't remember what that smells like. If I like them, I usually put them on my um, Sephora loves list. Ellis Brooklyn Myth. I think I really did like this. There's is there a little bit left in there. I know Mr. Kong's mom just like purchased a bottle of this from Ulta and I was like, they have that at Ulta? I did like that. Mm, that's pretty. Fleur Hanami. Hanami Fleur. Fleur Hanami. I think I remember liking this. Two. A Skylar perfume in Isle, and I did like this as well. I'm just gonna sm smell like all kinds of weird with all these different scents. I can't, I can't smell that. Clean Reserve perfume in the sh shade, why do I keep saying that? It's in Skin Reserve Blonde. I don't remember liking that. Seven Virtues in Vanilla Woods, this is good. Really, really good. Mason Louis Louis Marie Bois de Bellencourt. This is in my Sephora Loves list. This is beautiful. Love it. Now this. <laughs> this is by uh, Lilabo, and this is another 13. I need this. But it is so expensive. Mm. <laughs> you can get it at Nordstrom. It is beautiful. I need this. Like it, it's like 200 and something dollars for a bottle, but I'm gonna buy it for myself. 
I need it. I wore it and my girlfriend was like, what were you wearing? The oh, I, I wore it the day that I got Ziggy and I drove by her house and I was like, I want you to meet my new kitten. And afterwards she texted me. She's like, what were you wearing? And I was, I was like, I, I sent her a screenshot. I was like, I was wearing this. She's like, figures, it's so expensive. I know. Okay, so let me go through, before I get to lips, let me get through these three nail polishes that I got through. So I finished this polish from Glitter Gal. This is an Australian indie polish, and the shade was Beetle Wings. It was a beautiful nail polish color. Oh my gosh, I loved it. I finished a top coat, which is kind of boring. Not a top coat, this is a base coat from Revlon. It's their gel, it's their gel base in just a clear. And then the last one I finished was this I Love Nail Polish or ILNP in Pretty Little Liar. And these nail polishes are glorious. I love this polish brand, their formula. Okay, let me get this box of lippies. I'm gonna pull out the balms that I used first. Like just plain balms. Balms, balms, lip balms. That's a balm, that's a balm. Balm. What are my cats doing? They're making so much noise. Okay, I think those are all my like, these are all my clear balms. The first one I finished was this Nivea A Kiss of Moisture. I found this sitting in like an old workout bag and it had to have been in there for a long time because I haven't worked out in a very long time. So I was like, I need to use this. So I powered through it. I finished a random Jersey Shore Cosmetics Peppermint Moisture Rich Hydrating Balm. I don't even know where I got this. It may have come in like a box. BoxyCharm, Ipsy Bag or something, I don't know. My favorite lip balm, the best lip balm there ever is, this Neutrogena, if I can sell that, say that right, Lip Moisturizer. It's my favorite lip balm. It's the best lip balm. The best. Burt's Bees has nothing on that. And then here's a Burt's Bees. <laughs> this is a really beat up tube of Burt's Bees. This is just the regular original formula. And then I use this a, a fresh sugar advanced therapy, just a mini of one of these um, little tubes. And then I, I mentioned this in my December empties, this cute tube. Oh my gosh, look at how cute this is. Ugh, I die. It's by the brand Inuit. I think that's a French brand and it is their balm. And I think this was in their strawberry scent. Not a great formula, but the packaging. So cute, but I would not repurchase those. I got through three of these deluxe size samples of the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This was in vanilla, and then I got through one in apple lime. I finally found where their, the names were, the scents are located, and this one's grapefruit. So I got through three of those. The last like lip balm I got through was this Glossier Balm.com. And this is the original scent. I'm very tempted to go onto their website and purchase their new scents because they have some new ones and I may just do it because I like this a lot. Yeah, they have some really nice new scents. Okay, I have one lip oil and I really like this lip oil. I'm tempted to get another lip oil, but I need to wait until I can pare down my lip balm collection and here I am talking about more Glossier. The Clarins Instant Light Lip Comfort Oil and this was in the scent Raspberry. So I finished this up last year. I liked this a lot. I don't know if I need this particular lip oil or any other lip oil but this was nice. Okay so now I'm gonna do to like tinted balms. Okay I think these are all my tinted lip balms. I have two of the fresh, the sugar, I'm sorry, the fresh brand. This first one is, <laughs> this first one is from Fresh. It's the rose color and I like this color. It's, it's a nice, you know, generic kind of light pinky peachy color. And then the next one I got through was, oh, this was so challenging. It's kind of a dark color. It's the, the one in Fig and I would not repurchase this one. This was a no. I'm so glad I got through that. I've had that one for a long time. The next one I got through was this Bite Beauty Lush Lip Tint in Watermelon. So, yep, use that one all, yep, I'm all gone, yay. And then I used two of the Revlon Kiss Balms, one in Berry Burst, 
and one in fresh strawberry. And I like these two. My favorite is the coconut one. Hands down, my favorite. Lip glosses. I got through a lot. Of, I got through a lot of lip pro. I was surprised. I'm surprised at how much lip products I got through. I didn't think I got through that much. This, I guess, could be considered a tinted lip balm. This is the Dior Lip Glow, and this was in the shade Berry. I like that. Okay, lip glosses. So I got through two of these little samples from Mary Kay of the Nourish Shine lip gloss. One one is in Cafe LA and the other one was in Shock Tart. So I got through two of those. They're cute. They have like these little diamond things on the end. Cute. And then I got through this Rimmel Oh My Gloss in I don't even know the color because the sticker came off but I got through this. There's still some like glitter left in there, but I'm not gonna put that on my lips. I finished a Fenty Beauty deluxe size sample of the Fenty Glow. There's that guy up. The NYX Butter Gloss in Eclair. These take forever to finish. Forever. Two Marc Jacobs enamored lip, and I don't even know the shades because the stickers are off, but I think one was Sugar Sugar. Maybe one was Flamingo. I don't know. Two of those. One Lorac Alter Ego Lip Gloss in the shade Goddess. And this is this little mini. I have two by Beauty glosses. One of this deluxe size. This is in the shade Nicole. To be honest, guys, like I don't even remember using this. When did I use this? <laughs> I don't even remember. And then this one is a teeny tiny sample. And this is in Rose Julep. And this is just really small. I finished, this one took forever. This is the Sephora Glossy Gloss. And I don't remember the, the shade because the sticker came off, but it was this huge giant thing of gloss. It's gigantic. I mean, oh, it's so big. So much product in here. 15 mils. Oh, took forever, but I finished it. Now this I put in my empties. I usually don't put like decluttered things in empties, but I used like half of it and I was like, you know, I worked on it for a large part of the year, but it really started to, it started to irritate my lips. And I was like, I, I can't do this anymore. And this is really old. This is a Prescriptives lip gloss. Do you guys remember Prescriptives? This is their uh, Tint Balm in Mulberry. <laughs> Whoops, sorry. It's loud. But yeah, I just, I put that in my Okay, MAC lip gloss. And what shade was this in? Candy Yum Yum. It was in Candy Yum Yum. So this was in my Fifty Shades of Pink. Oh, one more lip gloss. This is the Beauty by Pop Sugar Be The Boss lip gloss. I think I got this in like an Ulta free bag or something. Like why did Pop, Be Pop Beauty, what, what, why? Okay, one lip liner. <laughs> I did finish a lip liner. This is ColourPop Lumiere. I was so happy to get rid of that. I have another one. Okay, so I have this. L'Oreal Glossy Balm in the, in Pink Me Up. It's a pretty, I guess this could have been in my like tinted balmy shades, but it's pretty dark. So I got through that. And then another one that's a kind of a darker balm was the Color Whispers Maybelline, right? I think it's Maybelline. Color Whisper and a Plum Perfect. And so I got through that. The rest of these are lipsticks. So the first one is Tarte Color Splash. I was like, what the hell is this one? The Color Splash lipstick, and this is in the shade Salt Life. I love this. I will eventually have to repurchase it because now I don't have it in my collection, and I love it. I mean, it's just like all the other mauve nudes I have, but I need this back in my life. Urban Decay Revolution lipstick in the shade Naked. Happy to get that out because you know that one's old. I thought this was in my Fifty Shades of Pink and I forgot that I had taken it out, but I panned it. <laughs> That's what I do. I forget, I do shit like that all the time. This is the Sephora Rouge Brilliant, no, Sephora Rouge Shine in the shade 14. I don't know what they call it, pink? I don't know, it's a pink color. It's like, um, kinda hard to see. Yeah, finished it up. I was like, I finished another product in 50 Shades of Pink. And I was like, it's not even in that project. What, what project was it in? It was in no project. Pat McGrath Matte Trance Lipstick in Omi. So I used it up all the way. It's this baby little mini. I mean, are you kidding me? Look at how cute this is. Jesus, it's just like her full size, but in a teeny tiny size. I have a full size of this, so. 
And then I did finish this uh, Kat Von D studded kiss lipstick in Lovecraft. There's like a little bit of nub left, but I'm not about to go digging that out. It was like rubbing up against my lip. Plastic was rubbing up against my lips, so we're done. And then I finished this really old MAC lipstick in the shade Sweetie. And I will definitely back to MAC this. So that's the shade there. It's a luster. So I don't need lusters. I don't have very many lusters in my collection. But yeah, we'll finish that up. So we'll set that over there. Is that everything? Oh my God, that's everything. That took a while. So I had the whole like total of everything I used up in a spreadsheet. I'm like all about pivot tables. I'm, the, I'm a big freaking nerd when it comes to spreadsheets and Excel. I have my entire collection in Excel. And that's everything, right? The spreadsheet didn't save. <laughs> so I'm going to have to do it again and like make sure all my numbers are right. So I'll put here at the bottom of the screen, right here at the bottom, how much the total actually is. If I remember correctly, it was right around like $1,300 worth of makeup for the year. That doesn't include the fragrance or the nail polish because I don't include that in the makeup section of my empties. And I'll also include the totals that I have for like beauty and skincare because I keep track of all that too, kind of see where I land. So if I don't put that on the screen, I'll definitely put it in the description box because I, I definitely keep track of all that too. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll have my January empties up soon. I just need to figure out like, I like to kind of figure out what my totals are in terms of the dollar amount, the value I should say. So I need to put them in my spreadsheet, but I will have that soon. And we'll also show you what I got because I do have some things that brought into my collection, but I also have decluttered some things because I've been going through my makeup inventory. So fun stuff. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button. I'm also, I don't ever mention this at the end of my videos, but I'm also on Instagram. My Instagram handle is the same. It's J loves makeup. So definitely check me out over there and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Okay. <laughs> this is going to take forever. Ah. <sighs> Hi, Zigster. So, okay. Okay, we're gonna start with this. Where are you going? Hang out. Everyone likes it when you hang out.